Hello, my name is Peter Douglas with the Educational Technology and Library Services Department. And this is just a quick video to get you familiar with the Logitech Meetup webcam. Here we have the Logitech Meetup. It is a dedicated external webcam, microphone, and speaker system that you can connect to any teacher device, be it a MacBook, Windows laptop, or even a Chromebook. This is the main unit itself. It comes with a lens that can zoom and pan and tilt and, and basically move around the room, so to speak, to capture what's going on in a classroom. It has two built-in great speakers for great sound, and this will be the sound coming from your students who are attending class virtually on a Google Meet. Also, it has three built-in microphones to pick up sound from both you for instruction and also students who are collaborating and engaging in the class so that students on the meet can be hearing their classmates. It comes with a couple of simple cables. First is the power cable. This, this unit does require some external power. That would attach here on the back. And then this would need to get plugged in somewhere in the room. It has about a six to eight foot um, reach for the power. The other cable that comes with the unit is the cable to connect the meetup to your teacher device via USB. One end of this, again, goes into the back of the device in a dedicated slot. This cable that is provided with the meetup is super long. It's about 16 feet long. So the meetup can be positioned wherever you deem suitable in your classroom to get the best viewing angle for your remote learning students. The last item to come with the setup is a remote. This remote allows you to do lots of great controls with the meetup. It has dedicated volume controls to increase the sound of the, of the meetup speakers. It has zooming controls, and I'll show you how those work in a live demonstration soon. And the center controls allow you to control where the lens is pointing, up, down, left, and right, to kind of control, um, again, where the meetup is looking in your classroom, so to speak. Um, there's also a mute button on the microphone for the meetup. So if you choose to kind of mute the sound in your classroom that's going out to the Google Meet participants, you can hit that dedicated mute button, and it will mute the microphones on the Google Meet. So this was just a quick overview of the setup. And then it's plug and play. There's no um, software needed to run it. Once you plug this into your teacher device, your device should recognize the Google Meetup as another camera device that it can use when you're streaming your live stream Google Meet instructions. Hey, everybody. Peter Douglas with the EdTech and Library Services team here again. Um, this is part two of the Logitech Meetup webcam demonstration. So here I am on my teacher device. Um, I have got my Google Meet ready to go to, uh, to get connected with my remote students. Um, and before I dig in, I can see right now that I'm using my device's webcam, the one that's built into this, this MacBook. But I have my Logitech Meetup sitting over here. I am connected to it with that long 16 foot cable I mentioned. And I would like to use that for my camera for the Google Meet. So what I need to do, and I can do it right here in this preview window, is use these three dots in the upper corner here to get to the settings menu. So I can go into settings, even before I've, I've joined the Meet, and control some of the settings. Um, so I'll go to video. And right up here at the top, I have the option to choose what camera Google Meet's going to use for this Meet. And if I click this little tiny triangle here, I see that my computer senses that the Logitech Meetup is connected. And if I choose that, you should see it change to the Logitech view. And I'll show, it, show that in a larger view in a second. I also wanna go over here to the audio settings and also change my microphone, because right now, 
I am talking into my MacBook, my teacher device's built-in microphone, which is okay, but the Logitech Meetup has much better microphone capability, and it will be able to pick up voices throughout your classroom so every student, remote and in person, can hear what's going on. So again, for microphone, I'm going to choose the Logitech Meetup. Here it says speakerphone, but just look for that Logitech Meetup option under microphone. Um, for speakers, again, I also want the sound to be coming out through the Logitech Meetup. It has fantastic speakers um, and it will put the sound to go through those things. So you want to change video and audio settings so they all say Logitech Meetup. Then if I close that settings, you can see now the camera of choice is the Logitech. So I'll go ahead and join the Meet so we can kind of see what it looks like. And here we are in my classroom. Um, I kind of have things set up. This is obviously my living room. But if you can imagine, here I am the teacher. This would be possibly my whiteboard and or my Promethean board interactive panel where my projector might be in the classroom. And I could be talking to my students online here as well as addressing the rest of my classroom out here. Um, I also, in my hand, have the remote control that I talked about earlier. So I'm going to show you what that does. Um, using the zoom um, buttons on one side, I can just go ahead and zoom in. And you can see it has quite a bit of digital zoom features. Um, I didn't choose what I wanted to focus on. Um, to get back out, there's a little house button in the middle of the remote. And if I hit that little house button, it kind of resets everything and takes me back to my normal view. In the center, around the middle ring, I have directional buttons, and I can use those to actually change where the camera is pointing. So I can have a kind of pan around the room. Um, maybe I have a student way back here in the corner that I would like to, uh, to have them uh, give me some input. So I can pan to that. I can even pan down a little bit if I want to. I've got a student over here who is fairly disengaged, one of my students that's just super quiet, um, but maybe they'll be able to respond today, we'll see. So again, that's the pan, tilt, and zoom features of the Logitech Meetup and using that house button again to pull everything back. Um, audio out of this is fantastic. If students were, were join, joining with this uh, remote on a meet, their sound comes through the speakers on the Meetup and it sounds fantastic. Um, all voices in the room are captured really well with the three microphones that are built into the meetup. Um, and you have this convenient control in your hand to control what's going on. So that gives you an overview of what you can do with the Logitech meetup. Again, I didn't have to install any software on my laptop. I just needed to go into those settings and meet and choose the Logitech meetup for the microphone, the webcam, the camera. Um, and the audio of the speakers as well. So it's all going through the meetup.